Hey everyone, I am back with day three results. So yesterday's results. The first thing I want to point out, super exciting, I'll just get right into it. More energy after eating a full meal. I don't know if anyone else has experienced this, but like, except for this carnivore diet, I have never had like high energy after a meal. I will eat a full meal, you know, when I feel full, I stop eating. But like within probably 30 minutes or less, I will just feel like crashing on the couch. Okay. Like just sitting down, taking a nap. Okay. For a good long while. Um, I don't know if anyone else is like that, but I've always been that way. Same with my husband and I haven't talked to him, so I don't know how he's feeling about that. But for me, at least, um, since starting this, I have not had that issue. In fact, I actually feel an energy boost after I have finished a meal consistently. Um, and to me, that's just really exciting because uh, especially with two little kids, sometimes after meals is a good time to, you know, turn on a educational show for them and then I can get some stuff done. But if I don't have any energy, you know, I just tend to sit and I will zone out and I'll watch TV or scroll my phone or whatever instead of doing things that I really need to get done. And that's been a problem for me. Um, so I'm just, this has made me so excited because I finally have a way of eating that provides me with energy. And I don't, it's just crazy. Just crazy for me to think like eating a meal is going to give me energy. What? Um, so yeah, that's my main takeaway starting as of yesterday. Um, and then as far as how I feel in general, on, honestly, I had some mild headaches uh, throughout the day yesterday. Um, I did my usual eating a pinch of salt with some water and it staved off the headaches like they never got bad at all. All of the headaches were pretty mild but they were there. Um, I have done a little reading and heard testimonies from other people and that could be that my body's going into ketosis uh, since switching to a much well, practically no carb diet. So, uh, I don't feel any headaches today. I could include that in tomorrow's update, but I'll just tell you, I don't feel any headaches today. So, I'm hoping that it was just my body switching over into ketosis and that it was just a temporary thing. I also had some mild stomach upset yesterday all throughout the day. Again, another possible symptom of ketosis, although that one can also be due to the body switching and starting to um trying to get the gallbladder and the liver to start producing more bile for processing all that high fat. Um, my body has not at all been used to consuming this much fat on any diet previously. It was just all carbs. So now it's having to switch and produce enough bile to process all the fat and turn that fat into energy. Um, that is the two, I would say the two drawbacks so far that I've noticed is just the mild headaches and then some uh, mild upset stomach. Again, nothing serious. And I have noticed actually, like interestingly enough, drinking water and taking some salt helps with both of those for me. Um, so it might be something worth trying if you decide to give this diet a try yourself. And then uh, other side effects, I would say um, I did not have any other aches and pains. So I mentioned yesterday that I had some achiness in my legs at nighttime. Didn't have any of that, no aches or pains anywhere else, and I had a great night's sleep last night. Night before last, I did not sleep well. Honestly, I did not. And part of that was the kids waking me up, but it was also just I had trouble going to sleep, and I had trouble getting back to sleep after the kids had woken me up. Last night, however, that was night before last. Last night, however, it was different. It was back to, um, I would say, better sleep than what I'm used to getting prior to starting this diet. I slept wonderfully, you know, nice, deep, sound sleep, not a lot of waking up or anything. Well, I didn't wake up other than when my husband stirred around 6.30, then I woke up briefly. But again, I was able to get right back to sleep without having to like lay there in bed for like an hour. <laughs> so yeah. And then I would say the other negative that I had listed is irritability. I did notice yesterday not the previous two days before, but yesterday specifically, I felt more irritable. I would say I've had some of that today too. However, I also felt more able to cope with the irritability. 
um, because I've noticed with hormone fluctuations, I have experienced irritability even aside from starting the carnivore diet. So something to keep in mind. If you're prone to irritability, you might experience some additional irritability. However, again, like I said, I was able to manage it and not just like, you know, get upset at the kids or something easily just because I was irritable. So it was pretty easy to manage and cope with it. It wasn't super hard. I, it was just noticeable for me. I noticed myself wanting to get upset pretty easily. So anyway, something to keep in mind. My diet yesterday was same as usual. I had my usual three to four eggs. Instead of putting them in butter this time, I did a lot of hamburger fat with it because I had some left in the fridge still. So I did a lot of hamburger fat with that. For lunch, I had four ounces of beef liver cooked in a couple tablespoons of butter and a third, about a third pound of just deli sliced ham is all. And then for supper, I had half a pound, about half a pound of just cooked ground beef, kept all the fat with that, of course. And then I added about a quarter cup of shredded cheddar cheese and maybe a third cup or so of sour cream to that as well. I salt all my food, so everything that I list, just assume that I include salt on that. I just salt it to taste. I don't eat it like where it's ridiculously salty or I can't stand it. I just salt it enough that it tastes good to me. Um, and then if I feel the need for any additional salt, I'll just pour a little in my hand and take it with some water throughout the day. Um, so far that's been doing fine for me and uh, I don't know I haven't tested any sodium level I have not done any like blood testing or anything like that but um I'd be interested to see what my levels are like by the end of this 30 days so that is all I had for today keeping it quick I like keeping them under 10 minutes if possible the last two I know have not been but I'm gonna try and keep them 10 minutes or less hopefully so that is it. Oh, the other thing I took yesterday, I did take a tablet of magnesium and I took a tablet of potassium because those are the other two things that a lot of other carnivores have said you really want to make sure you're getting plenty of, especially if you're doing all meat and not including as much other stuff. I'm doing kind of mixed meat and dairy both, except for milk. I'm not drinking milk, but you know, you still need to make sure that you're getting plenty of potassium, plenty of magnesium, and plenty of sodium. Those are your electrolytes. You've got to have them. So I wanted to make sure, especially with having the mild headaches throughout the day yesterday, I went ahead and took a tablet of each of those. And like I said today, I have not had those issues. So haven't had headaches today. So I plan on taking a tablet of each of those again tonight. And hopefully that serves to stave off any potential electrolyte issues. Uh, I also have my red, red raspberry tea, the same thing that I described previously in my last video. So, hope you guys are doing great, and I will get back with you guys later. Bye, friends!